Yeah, I'll try. Okay, so now you understand why we use the z-test because of the sample size. Yes, please. Good. Now let's look at the second example quickly. Where is my example? Good. And I need you to pay attention again. Can you see the second example? Can you see the second example, guys? Yes. Good. So a yeah. rating scale with a low score of zero and a high score of 10 will be used. And airports with a population mean rating greater than seven will be designated as superior service airports. The magazine staff surveyed a sample of 25 business travelers at each airport to obtain the ratings data. The sample for London Heathrow Airport provided a sample mean rating of 7.25 and a standard deviation of 1.052. Do the data indicate that Heathrow should be designated as a superior service airport? So these are simple questions I'll be asking you, whether in your exams or example or whichever. Okay, now you have to understand the question. Some of you, immediately you see the question, you want to answer it without trying to understand what the question seeks to unravel. So based on this, what do you see there? You are being asked to find out whether we want to actually say that if an airport population mean is greater than seven, we will designate it as a superior service airport. So 25 business travelers were asked to rate from zero to 10. At the London Heathrow Airport, there was a sample mean from the 25 sample giving us 7.25 and a sample standard deviation of what? 1.052. You see, this problem, I didn't ask you to state the null hypothesis or alternative hypothesis. I'm just asking you, do the data indicate that it should be designated as a superior service airport? It's just to say that state the null hypothesis. And I did not also indicate whether you should use a p-value or a critical value. I gave you an alpha value. Once the question is silenced this way, you use an alpha value of 0 0.05. Please note that. And you are going to use a critical value approach, not the p-value approach. So what do we have? Can somebody help us? How do we state the null hypothesis? Please say something, eh? How do we state the null hypothesis? Or the stating the hypothesis, what should we look out for? Any help? Hey, are you guys there or everybody has gone AWOL? Yeah, we are, we are there. I'm just asking you, Usu Kebi, Musumun Kebi, just use your head around, just say something. If you get it wrong, it's not a big deal. You to say yes, some, Kebi. What would be the null or the alternative hypothesis? Well, can you say uh, zero is greater than, hey, it's less than or equal to the mean, and then the mean is. You uh, said HO is what? Mm -hmm. Zero. No, there is no yeah. nothing like zero. Oh, okay. okay. Mm. Uh huh. So the population yeah, but... mu. Mm -hmm. so, population uh, mu is uh. Well, population mu is less than or equal to twenty-five. Less than or equal to twenty-five. Oh, 25 is a sample size. Yeah, seven. Seven. Seven, seven. Then the HA will be what? 
Perfect. Simple. Use your head. Okay. Don't think too much. Systematically follow the problem. Good. Now we are giving sample size from the problem, right? Sample size is what? 25. 25. Uh, please, can I ask a question? Yes. Um, so does it mean that anytime they say a sample mean, I mean that is the um the now hypothesis, right? A sample mean is X bar. Okay. Okay. Population okay. mean is this mm. sign. Okay. Okay. So, uh, references is the actually the hypothesis is talking about the, the population. population mean. Okay. Then we will take a sample from that population mean. Population mean is the average of the population. This is seven. And when we did the sample mean x bar is seven point two five. Two five. Okay, thank you, sir. Then we have the st population standard. Is this time around a sample standard deviation S, not the, not this guy. This is the population standard deviation. Small S is the sample standard deviation, given as one point zero five four two. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Good. Uh, so, yes. Uh, just a minute. The, in the questions, we are not given alpha, but you came up with uh, 0 0.05. I'm saying it. that if alpha is not given by default, alpha is 0 0.05, which normally I won't give you. Okay, sir. Unless right. otherwise stated, assume that alpha, the researcher is saying that 95% of the sample collect, uh, collected is correct. So the error is 0 0.05. So by default, always make sure that the alpha is 0 0.05. But I can give alpha to be 1.0, that's 10%, or 0 0.25, 0 0.025. Please, is it okay? Yes, sir. Right, so which of the test statistics should we use here? The, the critical. Yes. No, I said the test statistic, T not the approach. T-test. Oh. Say T-test. T-test. Yeah, you say what? T-test. Why T-test? Because of the because sample standard, sample standard deviation. Mm -hmm. No, not the sample standard deviation. The sample, sample size. Sample. Because the sample size is less than what? 30. Small okay. sample. Okay. okay. We are using the T test. I think now you are following. When we close the class, you can go and have either KFC or just a, a chilled Coke and do stop, it again. Stop, stop. <laughs> Those who like coffee, you can go and have coffee at yes, Bidai Cafe. Get yourself sandwich whilst you masticate. Try to assimilate as well. Mastication must go with assimilation. Don't just chew without learning. All right, so let's fully do this question, then I can move on to the next section. I want to ask a question. Yes, go on. Uh, please, uh, when do we use the critical value and when do we use the p value approach? I will tell you which one to use. But if I don't tell you which one to use, please use the critical value. Just for exam purpose. Is that okay? No, okay. Because whichever approach you use, the value will be the same. So, sample size. The mean was what? What did we use in there? The mean is. 7.25. Mu is 7. Yes. Sample standard deviation is 1.025, right? Yes. Yeah. Then what again? Sample size is 25. 25. They're saying that the HO population mu is less than or equal to 7. 7. HA 
population meal is greater than what? Seven. Seven. We said we are using t test. N minus one equals to sample mean minus the population mean divided by sample standard deviation divided by the sample size. I said N minus one is degrees of freedom, DF. I'll show you how to use that one too. So let's substitute 7.25 minus seven divided by what? 1.025 divided by square root of 25. Can somebody do it quickly for us? Those who have calculated. Uh, this should give you 0.25 divided by 0 0.2104. Somebody should confirm quick. You should get 1.188. This value you have here is what we call the t-test statistics. The first one we say z-test statistics. Okay, z-test statistics. Then, because the question is silence, we are going to use the critical value approach. Please pay attention here. This one is t-test. So we are using another table called the t-distribution table, not the z-distribution. Mpocho, what are you I'll show you. I was getting one as the answer. Do it again. I don't know about it. Okay. Do you have yeah. 0.25 divided by 0 0.1, 0 0.2104? This is, it is from the... 1.2195. Uh, please, uh, the sample, uh, the standard sample yeah. deviation. Is it, is it 1.052 or. Uh, what was it? What is my question? Let me check. Okay, so that is 1.052. Change it, change it. 1.052. Okay, so now do it. What do you have? 1. 1.19. 1.19. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one point one eight eight to two decimal places. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now let's see z critical value approach. We say that we have as t t what? Usually I'll say t computed. Let me confuse you a bit. Or z computed. Okay. We are looking for the t critical to compare. We know that this is going to be 1.188. We have to use the table to find this guy here, the T critical. Now watch here, you are giving that T is N minus one down there from the formula. N minus one is the degrees of freedom. Freedom Ghana. This is a sample size, which you know already. It's what, 25? Mm -hmm. It's one. So our degrees of freedom is what? 24. Mm -hmm. Alpha is giving us 0. Point what? 0. 0.05. Yeah, I said by default, yeah. if it is not there, you just take 0. 0.05. So to find the T critical, I'm looking at something like this. T with N minus one, which is what? 24 comma 0 0.05 should be equal to what? So go to the tables I shared with you. Look for T distribution table. It's just down there. Please you see. You have it. Yeah, you come as well. I ask that you all share it. So it should be on your WhatsApp page. 
Now, when you pick the table, the first column you see, you see they've written degrees of freedom. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then you will see area in upper tail. Giving us what? 0 0.20, 0 0.10, 0 0.05, 0 0.025, 0 0.1, 0 0.005. 